Hey guys, I am Nishant and welcome to Cybernetico. So today, let's learn about JavaScript objects. So what is an object? They are simply variables that stores collection of data, whether it be different or same in key value pairs. So here I have an object called OBJ, which is my name, my age, is married, will be married and will have kids properties. So on the left, we have the keys like name, age, is married, will be married and will have kids. These are known as keys. And on the right, we have the values like Nishan, 25, false, true and undefined. So let's learn more about them in this video. So let's create an object first. So we can do let object equals to one curly bracket. And this is how we create an object. We can add a name property which will be Nishant. We can also add other properties like age, put some age 25 and is married to false. So here we are excluding the name, the age and is married, which are string number and boolean values. Let me print this in console. So console.log object objoy object fine. See, we can see our age is married and the name here, which are uh, string numbered and boolean values. So we can also create a nested object. So let me show you this. Let me create one more object, but first make this as object one. I will also show you how to merge two objects together for this properties, for their properties. So let's say let object two equals to Let's say address one nested object, I mean object inside an object. So here we can add a home address, ABC, then office address, office address, let me show, let me add a DEF, anything, plus let me add the phone number here also, so phone number as let's say home phone let me add one two three four and office phone as five six seven eight if you print the object two we should see the address and phone number here see we have the address and the phone number and inside the address we have home address and office address phone number inside the phone number we have the home phone and office phone so that's how we have the nested objects inside javascript now let me merge these two which is object one and object two so let me create one more object called object three equals to curly bracket and here we can do object wait, object one and triple dots as object two so triple dot means Spread operator. It means the contents of object one and the contents of object two will be stored inside the object three. So if we console this, we should see the address, age, is married, name and phone number, the properties from these two objects, object one and object two. So this is how we do it. We can also store array inside an object. So add a post, post here and make it an array. Let's say ABC and def in a string and we can also do this like uh, ghi so save it and see this is how we add the arrays inside an object which is posts so let's see now what is object is occurring in javascript so remove all these things and here we have the object one as before suppose we want the name so we can do let name equals to object one dot name if we want the age we can do let age equals to object one dot age and same for the is married and posts so this thing becomes lengthy to do so instead of this we can destructure the object properties like this let and equals to object one so we will get the name 
and the age and the is married and the post from the object one like this which is called object structuring then we can simply console the name or age or any other value or property so we can do name here then we can do console.log age if we save them we should get our name and age respectively fine so one more thing let's say we don't want to use the name here we want something else we can if we do this like username we should get an error because the username is not existing inside here okay see it is not because it's not here because we don't have the username inside the object one so what we can do we have to rename this so just do this so we have to use the name to get the name and then we have to use colon and the username to rename this name to username so if we console the username now they should print the name save and see it's printing the username of nishan we can do this in the age as well so like uh, user age so now age is now user and age so if you print this get 25 here we should get 25 here fine we can also assign default values in the name properties or age properties so let's say equals to nishan for example let's say we don't have the name property here so remove it and then simply console the name see what we get we are getting nishan there because we are setting the default value of name to nishan so if the name doesn't exist in the object it will print the name nishan here if we remove the equal to nishan in string it will throw us an error as undefined because this value is not present inside the object one fine so that's how it works now let's see how to use object and keys or how to get them so let's say let object keys object keys for the keys so keys are age is married and post and to filter it we can just do object dot keys property then pass the object name object one if we console the object keys let's see what we get object keys we will get the age is married and posts fine let me add object values here so object values so if we want the values we have to use object dot values and the object name fine and here we are getting 25 false and the post array as values so that's how object keys and object values are in the object in javascript and that was all about objects in javascript so make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more informative videos just like this one goodbye